Sabato here, I'm going to show you how to defeat Mog, Lord of Blood. This may look like a cheesy hack, but no, it's official how you can do it in-game. There's a special item we need in the capital city. I'll put a link in the video description on how to get here. You can get here quite easily at low level. And again, there'll be chapters in the video progress bar if you're already at certain grace sites already and you just want to know how to get the item. So check out the links also in the description. But yeah, you just head this way and down the well. It's pretty dark down here, so you're going to need your torch. So these gates will be shut, so you don't need any special item at all. You just push those gates open and head on down here. You don't get any fall damage, so you don't need to use any of the ladders. Take a right here, and then straight ahead. That's a dead end, so we'll keep going straight. Now down here, there's going to be rats. Big rats. Yep, so what you've got to do here, just run past them, or jump over them, and straight through this doorway here. Okay, so this is another zone now, another ladder to your left, just jump down below, no fall damage. And just a little straight here and to the left is the site of grace for this area. So light that up. Now, basically we've gone, we're going to make it there this one now. I've already been there, so I'm going to show you how to get to the Lindell Catagombs. Alright, so from that site of grace we just got, head out the door, and a little to the left and then right. Jump down, no need for the ladder again. This bit here, there's some enemies that drop all over the place. Preferably jump on that a little bit. Now jump down here to the highest point of the pipe. If you jump down and land any further lower down, you might die from the fall damage. There's two big large lobsters down here. The one below me here, to the right of the screen there. Wait for them to walk back that way, so that way you can sneak here and hopefully only have to deal with one of them. And maybe he'll get your attention, don't worry, he'll see you. So get him over to the pipe here. Because if you try and make a dash for it, he's probably going to get you. But once he's around that pipe, you can make a dash for that little opening just there straight ahead. The item we require is in this room, but just in case you die, there's a site of grace just down here. Just down these steps, and we'll light that up just, just in case you die. Alright, so basically we're at the Lindell Catacombs. So if we turn around and go back up the stairs you just came down. So head on up, we're going to go back to that room with the lobsters. And then left here to the little hole, there's the lobster there. So just crawl and that's the item we want right there behind the lobster so we'll sneak around he'll pop out of the ground but if you keep crawling you probably won't turn around so that's it mog's shackle that's the item we need for the boss fight all right so this is the area now i'll put another link in the description and how to get to this area because it does uh, involve a quest line it's probably the easiest way Vari's quest to get here again you can get here pretty early so we'll just speed up the clip and uh, like I said, you can skip in the progress uh, chapters for the next part of the video. So we're going to make our way to the boss fight, and I'm going to show you Mog's Shackle. Hey look, don't forget guys to subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated and drop us a like. really helps me out to provide more content to share with you, which I love doing. Okay, now these are my stats, that's my weapon level, level 52 I am, Reduvia Dagger 7, and there's Mog Shackle. So I'm going to use it about three times, I don't know what amount you can use it at, I tried four and he did attack me, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, three seemed to be the way to do it for me. So what this is going to do is put Mog in some sort of suspended animation, he's going to be like a statue, but don't go crazy, the important thing here is you don't want to stagger him, so don't keep whacking away endlessly at him, just see what I do now. And with my stat level and the level of my weapon, don't forget it does a lot of bleed damage at a certain amount of hits. What I actually did was I was able to hit him 10 times in a row, and then I stopped and waited for about 10 seconds, and then I started hitting him again. So Mog's Shackle seems to put him in a suspended animation. I know, don't feel guilty. It does feel like a bit of a cheese move, doesn't it? But look, if he's going to use cheat moves, why not? This is a guide video, not a pro play video. So hopefully, well, this is definitely going to help you out.
There you have it, Moog, Lord of Blood, is out of the game. Hey look, I really love providing this content, so please consider subscribing and hit the bell to stay updated. Give us a like, it really gives me that motivation to keep providing this content to share with you. Hope to see you all next time. As stated before, I'll have links in the video description on how to get into the capital city. You can get here quite early. And this is the path you'll need to follow on how to get into the capital city. There is a boss here, the Draconic Tree Sentinel, a guy on a horse, which will also be in the video description on how to beat him as well as a guide.